Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a look at your love life for October 7th through the 15th. Now we're going to look at my single Aquarius, which you guys are going through. And we're also going to look at the Aquarius who are in a relationship. And if you're interested in what, it, what I have to say, excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied already. Make sure you stick around. Also, if you want to see more of my future readings, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and also hit the notification bell. I also go live guys and I answer your personal reading questions on live. So if you want to get notified when I do go live, so you can get a reading on the spot, make sure you hit that notification bell. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the reading. Let's start with the singles and then we'll move on to the Aquarius who are in a relationship, okay? So single Aquarius, what are they going through for October 7th through the 15th? What's going on with their love life? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles is the first card. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the High Priestess. And we also have the World card. Single Aquarius reconciliation Woo. release your ex and playfulness in reverse the cards are flying everywhere all right so let's get into it so if you are a single aquarius i don't think you're going to be single for long mm -hmm. some of you you're like on a temporary break from your person you know that in between state of arguing and then it's oh i don't want to talk to you don't contact me and then you block them and then you expect them to hit you up via email <laughs> this is the period of time that some of you are actually in um yeah i get a sense that you guys really are trying to move on from somebody who you're trying to put in the past but the problem may be that there's still this need for them or this want for them and what may have happened as well what may have caused this relation relationship to split up maybe due to the fact that the playfulness aspect may have been taken too far like somebody may have gotten too invested in a more casual relationship than they were supposed to um and then somebody felt like they needed to distance themselves because of that um another thing that's coming through there may have been a lack of the intimate aspect so somebody may have just stopped being as flirty or stopped being as involved in the relationship and this may have also caused there to be a wedge um with the five of pentacles two of swords in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse there's this leaving out energy somebody either ghosted you you ghosted somebody or there was some sort of disagreement where somebody was like you know what i'm done I'm just done mentally. I'm done with the two of swords in reverse, 10 of pentacles in reverse. This is like, I want to get a divorce energy. So some of you, you may be, you know, newly separated. You may have not completely went through with the divorce papers as of yet, but you may be separated and living in a different home or working towards doing that. Or you may be, you know, staying in your side of the house or something like that. Um, Another thing that's coming through with the high priestess and the world card, your intuition may have been telling you that it's time for you to close this cycle anyways. Or if you're not the one who ended things, this person may have felt like deep down that it was time for them to have some sort of breakthrough and they may have had to take a step back from this connection. But understand for some of you, if you're not recently broken up with somebody like two weeks ago or even two months ago, and you've been, you know, broken up from this individual, say two years or, you know, longer than six months. Some of you, the reason why you have been having such a hard time attracting new love is because you're still holding on to that woe is me energy and harping on the fact that you're not over your ex. And some of you know that, but 
it's time to allow yourself to be happy and not depressed and sad over things you can't change. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at my Aquarius who are in some sort of relationship. So what's going, whoa, the cards are like super slippery today. Okay, so what's going on with my Aquarius who are in a relationship currently? What's going on with my Aquarius who are in a relationship for October 7th through the 15th? Okay, first card out, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Interesting. All right, let's see how this plays out. And Romance Angel cards, what's going on with my Aquarius who are in a relationship? We have Romantic Feelings, Wedding, and Retreat. Okay, so let's talk about this. So if you're in a relationship, huh, I get a sense that you and this person genuinely love each other, care for each other. And this is somebody who you guys have a deep bond with. Some of you, you may even be married. It's beyond just a relationship, of course. And there are certain aspects of this relationship that do need work. Every relationship's not perfect, um, especially the longer that you're in it, the more work that it requires. People think that being with somebody for a year is making the relationship more simple and you guys should just be able to flow next to each other but it's actually more of a harder process to upkeep a relationship that has been long-standing because there's so much that you guys have already done with each other that it's hard to keep up that um interest so for a lot of you um what you may be noticing during this time frame that you and bay need some sort of like bay vacation or something like that especially with this whole quarantine thing going on there could be some sort of um what's the word boredom that's going on and you guys could be just literally wanting to go at each other's necks because of the fact that you guys have been so up under each other way more than you really want to be okay Others of you, it's more of just aspects of the relationship that need to be tweaked that you guys need to spend some alone time addressing. Um, with the Six of Wands and the Emperor, if you guys are dating an Aries, this person will do nothing or not do nothing. Um, this person will stop at nothing to make this relationship work, especially if you're married to this person or if you have children with this person. They don't want this relationship to end anytime soon if anything they feel like they're able to be the man that they need to be for their child and for you if you guys are able to work through the small problems and address them um during this time frame this person may kind of let you know how they feel and express their feelings to you in regards to what they like and what they don't like, especially when it comes to what they like. And you guys are going to have the ability to kind of put your two cents in in regards to what you feel like this person needs to do better. Because, of course, there's always, like I said, work that can be done in a relationship. Some of you, um, if you moved on with your life, an ex may be trying to get your attention. If you have self-control, I promise you the relationship that you're in right now and you, you know, moving beyond the ex situation will be in your benefit. Okay. So I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you are able to take something from this reading. If you did, please feel free to thumbs this video up, subscribe. If you want a personal, check that information out in the description box. Everything you need to know to actually get a session with me or my other social media handles will be listed there. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, if you want to see whenever I go live, because I go live randomly and I answer private readings, private reading questions, make sure you hit that notification bell because that's how you will get notified. 
And thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Aquarius.